What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be counting my entire WWE action figure collection. Yes ma'am, we are going to go through all of these guys. We're going to go through every single section of this room. All of these, all these figures on the wall here. These boxes right here. These boxes right here. That box right there. This box. All these shelves around the room guys. Look at all these shelves. All this stuff going on. We are going to count every single one of these figures. And you guys aren't going to have to sit back and just sit here and watch me count one by one. No, that would be boring, right? No, I'm going to skip through, you know, I'm going to show you the sections and, you know, tell you how much was in each section. We're going to add it up and see how many are in my collection, guys. And I have a challenge for you right now. Comment down below how many you think I have. I would love to know your predictions down below. Last year, I think I actually have the stats right here, guys. Let's go right here. Let's check it out. Here's the stats from last year. The total number was 816. Last year, I think I predicted myself to have around 700 something. I ended up being like about 60 short or something. And and this year, I, I definitely have increased my collection. I definitely haven't, you know, you know, decreased in number of figures. So I'm going to go ahead and take my prediction. I'm going to say maybe just over a thousand, maybe like a thousand fifty is what I would guess. Maybe we've increased by like 240 or so. But comment down below, guys. What do you think? What, what is your prediction? I went ahead and watched last year's video. That's another thing. I did do this video last year. And since it's pretty much a year to the date that we made it, I wanted to, um, you know, create this video again. You guys can see that last year we had 89 John Cena's. We're going to compare the stats, see how many I have this year, and just go through it until we reach the finale, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started, guys. Again, comment down below. Do not miss the prediction. I'm going to go with about 1,050 or so, and we'll see if that is correct, but we're going to start up here in this section, and we're going to find out how many I have in my entire collection. All right, guys, so in this section right here, uh, I just have a bunch of random figures, you know, legends and just random build of figures and random slots. So there is a hole right there. Why is that hole there? We have some customs up here. You see the Chompa, the Benoit, the Buddy Murphy, all these good things going on right here. So I counted both of these shelves up, guys, and what we have is on the top shelf, we have 29 figures, and on the bottom, we have 35. It doesn't really look like there's a big difference between them, but there is, you know, that's just the way it happened. There's 29 on top and 35 on the bottom. You combine those two numbers together, and there is 64 total in this section. So 64 total in this section, I'm going to write it down. All right, guys, so we're going to start off in this massive section right here. We're going to start off on the left side, and what I call this is sections, or left section, because it's, you know, you have your three sections here. On the left side, you have uh, top shelf has zero, because that's a Hitman figure, not a WWE figure, and we're going to combine shelves one and two like I did last year, and since uh, we don't have any on number one, we have to count all the ones on number two, which is ten. So there is ten on these two shelves put together. On this shelf, there are 26 put together, so ten up on the first two, 26 between these two and then on the third shelf rows five and six I did add this entire shelf right here the whole bottom shelf here um, these three shelves I should say one two three all three of those were added um, between last year and this year so I still am going to keep that as the Seth Rollins I'm not going to count that as uh, as a seventh shelf we're going to keep them as five and six and uh, three and four here so three and four were 26 Five and six together are 30. So 30 here, you guys can see we have Shinsuke and Shane and Samoa Joe, Brock Lesnar, Sting up here. You have Bobby Roode, The Miz, American Alpha, The Club, Goldberg, all that good stuff. You guys have seen this many times before. So we got this section done. Now we're going to go to the middle section. And the middle section has all of my favorite superstars lined up. You have John Cena, Randy Orton, Triple H, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, and Seth Rollins. And we're going to start up top, guys, with all the John Cena's on the shelf, and I'm going to add it up. The number of John Cena's on the shelf, guys, is 50. We have 50 John Cena's up on the shelf, and we still have that little space there that we could, you know, fill it up with. So that's pretty exciting stuff. Can't wait to fill that one in. And that's five more than last year. So we've added five Cena's to this shelf, I think, or a few at least, because last year it was like 40-something. So we did add to that. And don't forget, we still have our big box of John Cena's down here that we have to add together. But we'll do that after we cover this entire section here. Let's move on to the Randy Orton shelf. So for the Randy Orton shelf, guys, it came out to a total number of 26. That is not the total number of Ortons in my collection, but it is the total number of Randy Ortons on the shelf. I'm going section by section. That way I can add it all up at the end and I won't confuse myself and, you know, miscount or anything. So we have 26 Randy Ortons and we're moving on to Triple H. For the Triple H's, guys, we actually went up in number. I think there was 30 on this shelf last year. This year we have 35, so we did increase by 5. I don't even know how the hell we got 35 Triple H's on this shelf, to be real with you, because his body mold is so big. You know, that big chest. I don't know how the hell we got that up there, but they're there with 35 Triple H's. 
Moving on to my boy Finn Balor, this section is actually new. This was not here last year because I added that bottom shelf of Rollins. Um, I got to move everything down one and I added Finn Balor to the middle. And for Finn Balor, guys, one of my favorite superstars, we do have a total number of 40 Finn Balor elites. You have all of your demons on the right side and then on the left side you have all of his non-demon attires. Not completely all of them, but mostly all of them and uh, some work in progress, progress custom. So there's 40 Finn Balors there to tally up. Moving on to my man, the KO show. We have Kevin Owens on Kevin Owens shelf. Last year, I think we had 17 and this year we have 30. So we did increase the Kevin Owens by 13 from last year, but there are a total number of 30 KO shows. And oh look, there's one Finn Balor right there. So that makes 41. My, my mistake. Moving on to Seth Rollins, guys, you can see that Seth Rollins takes up the whole bottom left side, the whole entire middle. And then um, one day he may fill up this whole right bottom shelf. For right now, the right bottom shelf is completely empty. But for Seth Rollins, guys, taking up this section and the middle section, not counting his other figures that are on the MDT Live roster shelf. These right here total up to a total of 59 Seth Rollins Elite figures. 59 is pretty insane, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a that's a ton of Seth Rollins. Ton of duplicates for future customs and just a bunch of crazy sauce going on right now. So now that we've covered the middle section, guys, let's go up to the top and start off with the big dog. So for Roman Reigns, guys, we do have a total of 22, and then C and Punk, we do have a total of seven. So we combine those two numbers together, and we have 29 total figures on that top shelf. I do have some other Romans across the room, you know, on some different shelves, this bottom shelf, the MDT Live roster shelf. But uh, on this section alone, we do have 29 total elite figures. Moving on down to some legends, guys, we do have Stone Cold and The Rock, two icons right here. For Stone Cold Steve Austin, we ended up with 15, and for The Rock, we ended up with 19, and I think all we did for this shelf was increase Stone Cold by one, and then for The Rock, it stayed the same. Maybe some customs and things of that nature, maybe some uh, park breakdowns and stuff of that nature. So the total number on this shelf is 34. 34 total figures on this shelf compared to the one above it. It has a few more there, and it's just so insane to think I have 19 Elite Rocks. That, that is just mind-blowing. Moving on down, guys, we do have the Canes, Batistas, and Rey Mysterios. And for Kane, we do have 10. For Batista, we have 14. And for Rey Mysterio, we have 13. So if we add all three of those together, guys, I do believe the total number is 37. Total elites, 10 plus 14, 24 plus 13 will give you 37. So that is 37 more figures. And again, I don't know how some have 37 and some have 35 and then some have, you know, whatever. Some have some space like Roman up there. But I guess because Ray's so small, you can fit more of his figures on there with bigger guys like Batista and things of that nature. But moving on down, guys, we are on to the Kurt Angle and Sami Zayn shelf. For Kurt Angle, guys, we do have 10 total Kurt Angles. That is definitely up from last year. We have five Sami Zayns. Two Aleister Blacks, one across the, the room on the Vindication shelf, and then we have 13 HBKs, which I think is also increased with the release of that Walmart exclusive HBK and the GameStop exclusive for sure. That definitely increased the number. And for this shelf, that will be a total number of 30. So we have 30 total figures on this HBK, Kurt Angle, Aleister Black, and Sami Zayn shelf. Come on down, guys. We're on the to the Jerichos, and for Jericho, we do have 15. We have a little E there, so that's plus one, makes 16. For the Usos, we do have six, which will make 22. We have four Strowmans, which makes 26, and then we have three Aidens, which totals this shelf up at 29. I do have more Aidens and Strowmans. I do believe they're just not on this display right now, which kind of irks me, but, you know, I gotta have that roster shelf. But uh, leading the way on this shelf is Chris Jericho with 15. Moving on down, guys, we do have our New Day figures, our Dean Ambrose figures, and our Edge figures. We got a lot going on on this shelf down here. And for the New Day, I went ahead and grouped them all together, but I did single them out so you guys can uh, get a total number of each member of the New Day. And for New Day, we do have 14 total. We have Kofi coming in at seven. We have Big E with four, and we have Xavier Woods with three. For Ambrose, we have 15, and for Edge, we have seven. So if you add all of that up together, you do get 36 total figures on this entire shelf. So it seems like we about get the same number as we go down. You know, they're in the late 20s, mid 30s, depending on, you know, how many figures of each, if there's any spaces. I guess you can say if the if the shelf's pretty much full, then it's probably gonna be around the 35 to 36 mark. And finishing off this section, guys, on the bottom row, you guys will see, uh, this is more of my cur current roster shelf. We have a Finn Balor there that wouldn't fit on his shelf. We have, you know, a bunch of of random guys. We got our truth you know, Daniel Bryan, Ricochet, Jinder Mahal, just a bunch of current roster guys. And then we have some guys that are, you know, in managerial positions and stuff like that. 
For this shelf, we do have 33 on the bottom shelf here. So 33 on this bottom shelf. I would love to add more, you know, uh, you know, regular superstars. But uh, for now, this makes them easy to get, you know, for predictions and reviews and stuff of that nature. But we're finally finished with this big section, guys. We finally finished it off. I am writing all of these stats down. That way we can go to it in the uh, at the end of the video and compare and, you know, look at all the total number and stuff like that. But my God, it is, it, it is adding up quite fast, it seems like. So now we're moving on to the big box of John Cena's, guys. I'm going to tally this up, and we will see what the total number is. And for the big box of John Cena figures, guys, it came out to a total of 45. So we have 45 John Cena's right here compared to the 50 that are up on the shelf. So 95 total John Cena's. So we haven't quite hit the 100 Elite mark. I really do want to do like a celebration once we hit 100 John Cena Elites. I think that would be a cool video. Don't know what the hell we would do, but I think it'd be a cool video anyway. So 95 total John Cena's. Pretty ridiculous. For these boxes, guys, I did label them. I have box number one, box number two, box number three, and box number four. And while I counted the Cena's, I went ahead and counted up all these boxes here. And I have the numbers right here that I'll go ahead and read off to you guys right here in box number one we do have 19 and it kind of it's kind of funny because it goes up in number each time so in box number one we have 19 we have 42 in box number two in box number three we have 55 and then in box number four we have 75 and in box number five there are a lot of figures that are missing parts and stuff but i don't really count against it because right here i have a ton of fodder boxes with boots and heads and arms that i could easily convert a figure out of so i do want to count that and not, you know, hurt the total. So there is all of these boxes. We counted all of those up together. That is a whopping amount of, of figures, guys. I mean, it, it is adding up rather quickly, and it's pretty scary. So moving on to this section, guys, we are over to the Ziggler section, and with Ziggler, we do have a total of 22. We are up to 22 Zigglers. I think last year we only had 21, so it's kind of crazy. I, I know I do have some other customs. I have a few around the room as well, but on the on the shelf alone, it is 22. And for Jeff Hardy, we do have have a total number of 15 so you combine those together and you get a total of 37 figures on this top shelf over here in this portion of the room moving down to the dead man guys we do have the undertaker and undertaker last year was about 19 this year he is up to 22 so we have 22 elite undertakers and then right here we have matt hardy underneath brother jeff we have 11 matt hardy so put that together with 22 undertakers and you do get a total number of 33 so 33 down here on this shelf compared to the top shelf 33 with the combined total total of Undertaker and Matthew Hardy. Moving on down, guys, we are down to the AJ Styles, and then when it gets down here, we have Macho Man, and then we have, like, some random custom figures that are all just kind of grouped together at the moment, so uh, that is uh, just some stuff. I didn't have any other room on the other shelf, so I just stuck them there. So that's a total number of seven. Then we have four Macho Men, so that makes 11. And then for AJ Styles, we have 24, so 11 plus 24 is 35. And last year, we only had eight AJ Styles figures. We had eight, so now we have 24. That is a huge difference. That is 16 more AJ Styles elites over the course of a whole entire year so i must have just been on an aj styles splurge you know we got the top talents we got the different elites coming out so i guess i, I you know did, spent some money got some aj styles figures in here i'd like to do more customs but we do have 24 total aj styles right here guys you will notice that we do have this big box of women's figures these are my women's figures that are not on display and the rest of them are right here we have my uh, women's figures on display and i added up all of these i didn't count the two fajita figures right here but i did count the bret hart and so I counted the Bret Hart figure, I counted all these women's figures on top, and the ones in the box you just saw, and the total is 44. So we have 44 total on the, the women's shelf combined with the box, and I, you know we're counting the full collection here, so I wanted to include all of them. So that is 44 on this Vindication shelf. This is the Vindication roster. You guys know you get to see the, all these guys perform on Vindication. So the Vindication roster shelf does have 36 guys, so this one is completely full, as you guys saw. Uh, when one of these boards is completely full, it's about 36 and that is the case here with this vindication shelf so this tops off at 36 and moving down guys to the last shelf right here we do have the mdt live shelf and for this shelf it did come out to a total of 34 and i guess you could kind of guess that because right here there are two spaces and you know two spaces minus the 36 you get 34 so the total number of mdt live is 34 and that is all of the shelves we have done every single shelf but there's one more portion of my collection that i do have to count and that is the mdt arena 
arena with all of the crowd members. So I'm going to go in there and we're going to count them all up and I will meet you guys in the arena with all of the total number of crowd members in the MDT universe. All right, guys, we're in the MDT arena here and I just counted up all of the crowd members, including that referee and including me on commentary down there. And if you, you add up, and I know, I know this number is crazy, if you look at every single member of this crowd, it kind of looks like what? It'd probably be about 60 or so, or maybe 70 if you look around this arena. It is actually a total of 110 figures. Yes, 110 figures. You count the sections. You take this section, that portion over there. You take the back part. You take the commentary team. All of these. Like, does this look like 110? I don't think it does. Let me know down in the comment section below. Does that look like 110? I think that's kind of ridiculous, to be honest with you. But it is 110, and now we have our full total of figures. Figures, guys. So now I'm going to meet you back in the room and I'm going to reveal the total number of figures in my collection. Will it be my prediction? I guess we'll have to find out and see. All right, guys, we are back in the room and it is time to reveal the total number of figures that we have here today. And it is a total number of 1,162 total figures. My lord, I did count it and I recounted it. And last year's is right here. We can compare the stats. You will see that the total was 816 last year, and the total this year is 1162. That is a total difference of literally 354. So over the course of a year, I got a total number of 354 figures, and that makes me sad and makes me want to crawl in a hole and die. Just kidding, but seriously, guys, that... That's a lot of figures, man. That is a ton of figures, and I know I've gotten fan mail. I've gotten, you know, uh, figures from ringside. I bought from Amazon and local stores and stuff like that, but golly, that adds up so quickly, guys. That, like, that is ridiculous to think about. Imagine next year. Like, what are we going to have next year? Are we going to reach the 1500 mark? Like, what, what in the hell is going on, man? That is absolutely ridiculous. Were you right? Was your prediction correct, guys? Let me know down in the comment section below. I hope nobody cheated. I bet some people did because they're cheaters. But that is the total number, guys. I mean, kind of ridiculous. Uh, John Cena does leave the way with 95 total. I mean, Seth Rollins had 59. Um, it's actually 60 if you count his figure on the MDT Live roster shelf. But, you know, I wasn't going to do all that. Uh, but that pretty much does it, guys. We counted my full collection you guys saw here. We added it all up, and that is the total number that we got. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, comment down below. Leave me a like. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.